Today, Pomelin Brothers is here in District 19 and we are at Water Bay. We're heading up to this charming two-bader. Size at 754 square feet. There's walking distance to Cove LRT Station. Come, let's go and check this out. Alright, so today we are at the heart of Pongo Town. We are bringing you a functional living and dining area. But first, let me share with you some facts about this project. Water Bay TOP in 2016 is a 99-year leasehold, executive condo, and there are a total of 6 stacks here. The project comprises of a total of 383 units. And as for the unit mix, there are only 15 units of 2 bedrooms, and we are one of them today. This project was developed by Qing Jian Realty, the developer behind Jetscape as well as many other projects. So our unit here is sized at 753 square feet featuring a living, dining, 2 bed, 2 bath as well as an outdoor balcony space. So entering the unit, the owner has actually utilised this space to be their dining area so they actually place in a 4-seater dining table. Alternatively, what you all can do is that if you all want to utilise this space more to actually build in some cabinetry over here, you all are able to shift your dining area to outside to your balcony area can do an alfresco dining towards the outside. Alternatively, what you all can do over here in this balcony is that you all can put outdoor set so you all can enjoy coffee over the morning or in the evening and blinds been installed for you. Uh, besides that, you also have uh, electrical points on both ends of your balcony. Our facing is predominantly facing towards the north so therefore you do not have a direct afternoon or morning sun entering the unit. So where we are located at, we are located along Pongo Central where there's plenty of facilities and amenities around this area. For public transport, it's just a mere 4 minutes to Cove LRT which will lead you to Pongo MRT or you can take a 7 minutes walk to Pongo MRT Station. From Pongo MRT, it's 5 stops to Serangoon Interchange where you can board the Circle Line and travelling in 2 stops, it will bring you to Bishan, the interchange for the North-South Line. Or in the other direction from Serangoon, in 3 stops, we can reach Maperson MRT Station which is also the interchange for the Downtown Line. In future, when the upcoming Cross Island Line from Pongo MRT MRT is ready and fully functional. In three stops, we will be able to reach Pasir Ridge Interchange for East-West Line. From Pasir Ridge, we can continue the journey on the Cross Island Line or head over to Tampines on the East-West Line in just one stop, which we can board the Downtown Line. So definitely, you do not have to worry about the connectivity around this area. If you're driving, you'll be pleased to know that two minutes drive to TPE and travelling on TPE westwards, you can reach KPE and continuing on TPE, you can reach Changi Airport in about 11 to 13 minutes. Alternatively, you can travel eastwards on TPE, which will bring you to CTE that will lead you to City or SLE. So coming into a living room, you can notice that it's of a very cosy and very nice minimalistic layout. The owners have actually placed in a 3-seater L-shaped sofa. Viewing distance from your sofa to the TV is great. The owners have actually placed in a 47-inch TV. So towards the front portion of your living area, you can possibly do a feature wall where you can add in additional cabinetries. Over at the living room itself, there's a two icons that have already been done up by the developers which will serve your living and dining area. So now next, let me show you on the kitchen area. So over to the kitchen area, top and bottom cabinetries have already been done up for you. Basin also have been installed. Over towards my back end, you will have your Electrolux cooker hood and hob, as well as your Electrolux oven. And additionally, over towards the back end, you have your this window for ventilation purpose. So before I share with the rest of the house, let's take a look at some of the pricing comparison of two bedders around this area. If you to look at projects on the eastern side of Pongo, there are the Amore and River House. The Amore TOP in 2016, KSF is going at 1,285, sized at 700 square feet for a two bedder. And River House TOP in 2015, PSF is ranging from 1,104 to 1,580, and the size is from 752 square feet to 958 square feet. And zooming into projects nearer to Pongo MRT, we have Privé, Park Centros, Water Town. A treasure trove. Privé TOP in 2013, PSF is going at 1,155 to 1,274, size at 775 to 883 square feet. Park Centros TOP in 2016, PSF is 1,267 to 1,403, size at 764 to 1,033 square feet. For Watertown TOP in 2017, PSF is at 1,486 to 1,774, the size is at 570 to 958 square feet. A treasure trove TOP in 2015. 
2015, PSF is ranging from 916 to 1420. Size is at 775 to 1528 square feet. Our unit is going at $900,000, size at 753 square feet, and PSF is going for 1195. So if you're looking for a slightly newer project around the Pongo Precinct and wish to have a good size two bader, keeping your PSF to under $1,200, this unit may be something that you are searching for. So for buyers who are thinking on the exit plan, not to worry as you have many anchors within this area. The first anchor will be the HDB upgraders which will consist of the 60 to 70% of the entire potential pool of the private residential property. This will predominantly be the BTO nearing to the Pongo Coast area which will have met their MOP and they have a plenty of BTO clusters that will be MOP in the same period of time and it will attract those who wish to stay towards the Pongo town. So the second anchor will be according to the URA master plan, the vegetation along the entire Pongo Coast Road is zoned as residential plot and what this means for you is that there could be possibly be new launches coming up in those areas which will possibly cause a price disparity apart from ours. So the third anchor will be if you are considering this unit as an investment unit, there will be plenty of rejuvenation around Pongo and the upcoming business park that this will translate to a higher demand in terms of tenant pool for you. So entering into your first common bedroom, the owners actually utilize this room to be their kids' study room. This room enjoy a full height window from floor to ceiling. This will actually mean that a lot of natural light will be streaming into your bedroom. And invisible grills have really all been done up for the safety of your loved ones. What you could possibly do to this room is that if you wish to convert this room back into a proper bedroom, you are still able to do so by fitting a queen size bed or even a single bed over to this area. And towards my back, you have uh, two panels of built-in wardrobe that have already been done, as well as your AC in this room itself. So come, let me share with you on the common bathroom. So before you enter your bathroom, you have this water heater control panel that has already been installed for you. So entering the bathroom, WC as well as shower have already been installed. So underneath the basin, you have additional cabinetries for you to keep in all your toiletries. So towards the tail end, you have this ventilation window. This will actually be very great in terms of allowing ventilation in your bathroom. You feel alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break the backbone. Return to the Mac, the king is back. Though. So before I show you the master bedroom, just let me share with you some of the amenities that you can have within this project itself. So Within the 500 meter radius, there are kindergartens, clinic, dental, as well as coffee shops. For groceries, there are Giant, Sengxiong Supermarket, and FairPrice. Nearby shopping malls also include Waterway Point and Oasis Terrace. For primary schools within the 1 km, we have the Hfield Primary School, Horizon Primary School, Pongo View Primary School, Grandio Primary School, Mito School, as well as Riverville Primary School. For secondary schools, we have the Pongo Secondary School, Greendale Secondary School, Hfield Secondary School, as well as Compass View Secondary School. So let's check out the master bedroom. So towards my right, you have your master bathroom ensuite where WC as well as your basin and shower have already been installed for you. Cabinetries have also been done for all your toiletries needs. So similarly for this bathroom itself, you also have your ventilation window which provides ventilation in your master bathroom ensuite. So now let's check out the master bedroom. This bedroom also enjoy three panel of full height window. This will actually allow also a lot of natural light to be streaming into your bedroom. Currently, the setup for this master bedroom is that the owners actually placed in a king size bed and you still have plenty of walking space within the front and towards the side of your room. Besides that, towards the front, what you can utilize this wall itself is you can actually build in a feature wall for all your entertainment needs. Towards the end of this master bedroom, built-in wardrobe has already been done up as well as the AC has already been installed. So now let me share with you some of the facilities you will enjoy in this project. Facilities will include a barbecue pit, clubhouse, fitness corner, hydrotherapy pool, lab pool, outdoor dining, pavilion, playground, tennis court, as well as water features. Okay, so now let me share with you some of the upcoming plans that have really been planned out for Pongo for the rejuvenation in the upcoming years. So Pongo is included in the Urban Transformation Project and is set to be the next generation smart and integrated district. There will be Singapore Institute of Technology, which is the newest campus, and JTC Business Park spaces within the Pongo North. Pongo North will be also the Singapore first truly smart district and nature lovers can look forward to Heritage Trail, which will be converted from the old Pongo Road and this Heritage Trail will extend all the way to Pongo Waterway from Pongo Point Park by the coast. The one 1.3 km green link will connect Pongo Community Park to three parks. The new Pongo Coast MRT expected to be completed by 2024, which will bring residents from Pongo to Pongo North. Set to be completed by 2030, a new regional sports centre in Pongo is also coming up. This will cater to a wider range of competitive sports and events with integrated with Pongo Waterway and Co. located with the Safra Clubhouse.
Thank you for staying to the end of this home tour and if you are looking for a 2 banner size at 753 square feet, good and functional layout and you want to stay closer to the Pongo MRT station with a keeping of PSF under $1,200, I think this unit might be suitable for you. Do contact our listing managers to arrange for physical viewing. Their contacts can be found right down below on the link description box. Do remember to hit the like and subscribe on our Properly Named Brothers YouTube channel. We are also available on Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. My name is Drummy Yong, Properly Named Brothers. As always, happy to share the place. A full height 3 panel of wall... Okay, one more time. <laughs> Wardrobe? Okay, so Pongo is included in the upcoming transformation. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so in the first common bedroom, we have Shermaine inside. We should be joining me in the home tour. Shermaine, do you want to say some words? Okay, show us the bedroom. <laughs> You'll take over the bedroom. <laughs>